everyone. I uh, have another short story I'd like to read to you. I wrote this one a couple of months ago. Um, it, it deals with the Holy Spirit again. So hang in there. Um, it's titled, Jesus Cost Me $80. And it goes, I had yet another doctor appointment at the VA in Baltimore. It was a chilly, rainy Thursday afternoon. Temperatures above normal. But it had been raining all week. In past years, this amount of precipitation would have produced a ton of snow. Along with the rainy weather, there was a large accident on Interstate 95 South involving a Coca-Cola truck, blocking the whole left two lanes. Altogether, this was making me late for my appointment. This would be bad. I got past the accident, through the tunnel, and onto Martin Luther King Boulevard, MLK. While traveling eastbound on MLK, my anxiety was increasing as my appointment time drew close. I came upon a homeless man looking for money, well, according to a sign, you see, at almost every traffic light, the homeless will walk down the rows of cars while the light is red. He was the only one I came across eastbound, and I was able to give him a goodie bag and my customary $20. Ironically, I noticed that the westbound side of M1K, there were no homeless stationed at the traffic lights. I thought this was odd, even considering the rainy day in February. Sorry, rather boring so far. Well, here's where it gets exciting, at least for me. I made it to my orthopedic appointment on time to find out that I would need a series of injections in both knees and to start wearing braces on both knees. Oh, not bad enough for surgery. Good news, but braces. Yuck. So I leave the fifth floor clinic on my way to the prosthetics one floor down. I arrived early as all were still at lunch, so I sat down and began to read. I became aware of another veteran with a cane trying to get the clerk's attention when he drops his cane. I immediately kneeled down to pick it up and tried to stand back up. Well, this is why I was there. Severe knee pain. I struggled to stand up, and he took notice, and he helped me stand. He thanks me profusely and sits down next to me to wait for his blood pressure machine. A note here in my story, all the he and his pronouns are capitalized. Does that give you a hint? We strike up a conversation, and he continues to thank me for helping him. I say, no problem, and we discuss our military careers and injuries. He has a shattered ankle from jumping out of perfectly good airplanes. I never did while I was in the Army. I forgot to mention that I did not see him nor hear him come into the room. It was just as if he appeared. Also during our discussion, he called me Tom and knew that I had just turned 60 years old. Exciting, right? You see, I was feeling rather depressed at the thought of wearing big, clunky braces with all the other physical issues I've had over the past year. Talking to my new friend was enlightening. I began to feel a warmness in my heart. Well, my name was called to get fitted for my braces, but I did not want to leave his presence. I heard my name again, and he urged me to go. I shook his hand and thanked him and wished him luck. Oh yeah, he also knew that I had won my claim. As I was getting fitted, my mind kept going over what I had just witnessed. When I was done, me and my new braces went looking for my new friend, who was just used as a vessel for the Holy Spirit in the flesh. Hope you all realize that by now, but I was just in the presence of our Lord. I looked at all the typical veteran hangouts in the VA, cafeteria, x-ray, lab, pharmacy, but to no avail, he was not to be found. The warmness was still in my heart as I took the elevator down to the parking garage. I was thinking of my Holy Spirit friend. What a great concept. But as I struggled to maneuver my new braced knees into my Jeep, I began to worry how I was going to do normal tasks with these things on my legs. I drove out of the garage and my thoughts waned to the upcoming traffic, weather, and all the other mundane tasks of life now with knee braces. So I turned westbound on MLK. And if you remember, there were no homeless westbound when I arrived just two hours earlier. It was still raining. As I got to the first traffic light, it turned red and a man looking like he was homeless approached my Jeep. I was out of goodie bags, but I was able to give him the $20. Are you doing the math yet? This happened at the next light three times. Each turned red as I approached, and each had a person looking hopeless approach me. Where did these people come from? 
Well, it really didn't take me long to figure it out. God had sent me four angels. I began to cry as a series of angels was sent just for me to make me realize that he loves me and my life is pretty great even with the physical disabilities. I began to smile as the warmness of my heart spread throughout my entire body and I realized that Jesus just cost me $80. Pretty cheap to learn just how special I am to him. He sent me the Holy Spirit and four angels full of love and grace. So now when I wear my braces, I can be reminded of his great love for me. He has not chosen to heal my body outright, but he is making sure I am not alone and he loves me as one of his children. I know he has great plans for me just the way I am. I felt so special on my way home and still do as I put this story into words. We all should have encounters as I did and I pray that you do. What a great feeling to be loved so much. My life is not worthy of such great love, but it does not matter to him. He loves us all very much. I just can't emphasize that enough. As long as we take Jesus fully into our hearts and follow his commands to love him with all our hearts, minds, and souls, and to love our neighbors as we love ourselves, he will provide us everything we need and will also guard our hearts from the enemy. God used the least of his people that I matter to him and to remind me to enjoy the life he has given me, knee braces and all. Thank you, God, for your love and grace. My family, friends, and loved ones, I pray for you all the time, and I love you all. I pray that you encounter Jesus in your hearts and that you keep him in your thoughts always. Thanks for taking the time to share in my experience. Well, that sure was a day that I will never forget. Um, I hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Did the math, figured it out. I actually spent $100 that day, but uh, on the way home uh, is when it really counted when Jesus cost me $80. All right, see you next time. Bye.